Hey guys, so today I'm doing a morning routine. I haven't done one of these in so long, but surprise, I'm nine months pregnant. Yes, this is my first morning routine. Fully, fully pregnant, about 37 weeks. So I get up in the morning, use the restroom, and then I do a very minimal routine, which is just brushing my teeth and washing my face with just a bar of soap. This is it, I keep it simple. My skin has been very clear thanks to prenatals and pregnancy hormones. So I just kind of do the bare minimum. And this cute underwear set is Calvin Klein. And I love to sleep in it because it's been so hot. And that's country is free people and it never pulls your hair. Just FYI. And then I blow out my nose because I've had stuffy noses since the beginning of pregnancy and it feels so good to get that morning blow out. So then I go and put on my Skims robe. I like to put this on in the morning just for a little bit of modesty if I'm trying to cook or do something. I don't have to worry about things flopping out. I make the bed, not very well, but I make it and I feel productive. The bedding is from Four Seasons and the mattress is Four Seasons and it's so worth the splurge. I love it so much, it's so comfy. And our bed was designed and made by my husband, Moses. He designs furniture and this custom piece was inspired by Prince of Egypt. And yes, we're getting rubber ends for the corners of the bed. These are the books I'm gonna read this morning, but first, meditation. Meditation has completely changed my life. I started about a year ago and I have just felt so peaceful. This is Wise Mind, which is part of the DBT program, but I do other practices too that I've learned throughout, and it's just five to 15 minutes in the morning of calmness, silence, no thoughts. It's really, really life-changing. The answers come throughout the day or the week or whatever. Then I do some yoga. Um, I just try and stretch out my back. I know this is not like the best yoga position. I just really have to stretch out my back in the morning and my hips. And then I do some Hare Krishna. I always like to do my mantra just to clear my mind a little bit more and just feel connected. Again, moving my hips because my hips have been crazy. As for books, I love to do my morning reading. Um, this is a mindfulness pregnancy. So once again, I do mindfulness and meditation. Sometimes they give you different breathing exercises. So I try it out too. So I get double meditation and breathing in. Another book I love is Magic. This is all about gratitude. It's a sequel to The Secret. I do gratitude every morning, every night. Um, I reread this book probably three times. It's seriously amazing how life-changing this is things just come to you and one of my favorite quotes a thankful person is thankful under any circumstances amen Preach. then there's some new parent books that i've been loving i kind of just skim these just to kind of you know see what i know see what i don't the simplest baby book which is the yellow one behind me provided some really good insights into a changing station um Obviously, diapers will be new for us, so I just wanted to make sure I had all the supplies at our changing station that were needed, and they had a really cool diagram to kind of just plan it all out. Love these books. Got them off Amazon. 10 out of 10 recommend all the books I'm currently reading. Then I go to the kitchen for breakfast number one. Yes, I have two breakfasts. I get my Greek Chobani yogurt, and this is in mixed berry. And I just kind of quickly eat this because I have a lot to do this morning. We're going to a doctor appointment. So I eat this before we make our hot breakfast. And 
Then I have to do a quick rinse in the shower. I just use this style spring water. I don't do my hair because I washed it last night. Get my other towel and try and get as warm as possible. I use my dry idea deodorant and then I look in for some underwear. Y'all, me undies have saved my life during this pregnancy. They're so comfy. I had 2X and 3X during this pregnancy. These taco ones are 3X and super, super comfortable. They don't cut off any circulation. Not sponsored, but I'm obsessed with these. Then it's time for a very, very minimal hair makeup. I'm not filming today, so I kind of just do the absolute basic. Just to make myself feel better, I have no problems going out in public without makeup. But, you know, to go to a doctor's appointment, I just like to feel a little better. This Tatcha cream, also amazing. Oh my gosh, best thing I've discovered during pregnancy. So my makeup routine is really just concealer and some foundation. This is Maybelline Rewind that I've used for so long. And the foundation is like a L'Oreal True Match. And I go over it just all very quickly. Just wanted to make myself feel good. The Beauty Blender is Hank and Henry. I can't wait till they bring those back. They've been out of stock for so long. But I love the oversized one. People ask me all the time where I got it. And the towel is also from Amazon. So I'm just using the L'Oreal True Match that matches the foundation to powder my face, this pixie bronzer palette thing. I don't know, I just had it, so I'm using it. And then I followed up with some Dior Cheeks and some Lash Freak and some Too Faced Glow Balm. Again, just stuff to kind of make my skin feel good, me feel good, give a little life to this life. Blushes, sorry, the brushes are blink brushes. I love these brushes so much. They're so fun to use. All right, time to take this hair down and see what we're working with. I blew it out last night, so it's pretty good. I'm just gonna run a flat iron through it, and as you'll see, I'm not very good at flat ironing my hair, but just to get the ridges out, I don't like to put too much heat on it, or product, again, when I'm not filming. Product will make it greasy, because I haven't gotten my hair done since the beginning of the second trimester, and I'm not gonna get it done until I give birth, so I don't like to make it too greasy, and also just not putting too much heat on it. When I don't need to style it and I think that's the secret of why my hair has been growing. That and prenatals. Picking out an outfit is so difficult. If you guys know, you know when you go to your BGYN, you always have to do ultrasounds, so you have to wear two-piece things. And I just, I don't like two-piece things. I just, I don't know, I like to wear dresses. But we went with this outfit, and I was trying to pick out a purse because, hey, I may not have a lot of good taste in clothes, but my purse collection is, you know, something to be admired. But I just recently found this Chanel white one in a bunch of boxes that were downstairs. I'm gonna wear it because it's cute. And then of course my favorite necklace. You've probably seen this me wear this all the time. It's an evil eye and I love it so much. And one of my favorite crystals is on there as well. And it just makes me feel protected. Then I answer emails 
and edit some videos before I get downstairs for second breakfast. And second breakfast is delish today. I'm just having some avocado toast with egg, lots of nutrients. I usually like to have a wheat toast with this, but we ran out, so we have white toast. And yeah, I actually prefer the wheat. Just again, to get the vitamins and nutrients, avocado and egg are really good when you're pregnant. So I try to have this a few times a week. Ignore the Hello Kitty, that's for an ASMR video. And voila, a little salt and pepper, and it's so tasty. Then my husband, we eat together. He actually cooks breakfast for me probably three days a week too. So kind of just depends on what we're doing. If we're cooking later that day, if we're gonna go out to lunch. Um, but this is a really simple breakfast that we both enjoy. And usually we watch TikToks during this time, but I have my phone recording. So we were just talking to each other. He was saying, oh, I like your makeup. And I said, oh, really? Thank you. It's not too much today. <laughs> just, he's just so cute. Then I had some time to journal. This mom's one line a day was a gift for my husband. It's a really cool book. I have some chocolate milk because I want her to be active in our appointment. I love to see her move around. So I do the mom's one line a day and it's basically what it says, one line a day. It has the date for five years. So the same day for five years you can journal. And I've been doing this since I found out I was pregnant. And yeah, I miss a few days here and there, but it's a really nice way to write. I kind of write notes to my daughter, basically. It's just me saying what we did that day and how I'm feeling and how excited I am to meet her. And when I was locking the door, you guys, there was a praying mantis. Praying mantis is good luck. And I just take everything as a sign and I thought it was the most beautiful thing ever. And I just was so excited. So good luck for today. Then I was off to the doctor. I hiked there, and no, I'm just kidding. We parked and it's in a really beautiful area and I go into my doctor's office or a waddle in. Always wear a face mask. And then I plop on down. <laughs> the skirt was a little short. I should have probably worn some shorts underneath it, but it's getting ready. <laughs> Get my belly prepared. And then the doctor comes in and it's time to see our baby. It's definitely the highlight. We only have a few more of these appointments left and I'm getting really sad about it. But at the same time, I know we'll get to see her outside. But she's doing really well. She's really strong and healthy. And today she weighed in at 30, or sorry, not 37 pounds, seven and a half pounds. So they predict she'll be about an eight and a half pound baby because they do sort of slow down. Look at her cheeks and lips. We have the full thing on our vlog channel, the Paytas Hackney Family channel, if you guys want to see the ultrasound appointments. Then the sexy doctor assistant helps me clean up. Just kidding, that's my husband. He wipes me down because, let me tell you, my placenta is very stiff. It's hard for me to bend over. And you know what, I take advantage of it. It feels kind of good, not gonna lie. had to make a quick stop at Target um, to pick up some diapers. Now we're kind of all over the place with diapers. We got under 10 pound diapers. We got 12 to like 20 pound diapers because um, we just don't know how fast she's going to grow, how little she's going to be. So we're kind of being prepared right now. We've been doing the Honest brand. Let me know if there's another brand that you guys like or that I should try out, but we definitely is stocking up on diapers, but just what size, I don't know. Now the formula section was scary. We're going through a formula shortage and an epidural shortage right now. And honestly, I would love to breastfeed, but I don't know for sure if I am. So we were advised to bring formula to the hospital just in case the breastfeeding doesn't work. So we only got a couple just because it is a shortage. Then my wonderful husband went out and got crumble cookies. I was getting so tired, but they had new flavors this week. So he was amazing. If you guys wanna see the vlog of us eating the cookies, uh, again, vlog channel, they had this like, cinnamon rye bread. It was pretty good. 
and then I napped. <laughs> I nap on the way home. Obviously, I was filming this, but I always sleep. If you guys like these routine videos, please thumbs up, and I will do more because there's only a few weeks left of pregnancy, so I'm documenting all of it. Thank you all for the well wishes. Sending love, hugs, and baby dust to anyone who needs it. Bye.